Adobe Muse supports fully responsive native widgets. This can be anything from a contact form to a composition widget or a slideshow. Let me show you some of the options that you can actually interact with now with the slideshow widget. I'm here within Adobe Muse and I'm working on my portfolio page. And I really like the tile-based grid system that seems to be pretty trendy right now. What I've done is gone in and selected the slideshow widget from the widget library. So I selected it here and dragged it out on the canvas. And from there, I've started to play with some of the different features that you can define on unique breakpoints. You'll notice up towards the top in the breakpoint bar, I've set up a breakpoint for my desktop device, my tablet, and my smartphone. And following along with this grid design, I want to create different tile structures for each one. In the desktop version, I have tiles that are three across. If I click over to tablet, you'll notice I've changed that to two across. Now these tiles can be the same height and width or unique per each of the breakpoints. If I jump to the smartphone layout, I've set it as one across, and this will support everything in the smartphone layout from 700 pixels down to the smallest smartphone at about 320 pixels. Another thing you'll notice is that I have the ability in the light box to control the size of the light box image and the placement of things like captions, previous and next button. On the desktop layout, I have them aligned towards the left bottom. If I jump over to the tablet, they're centered. And in the smartphone instance, I've actually moved previous and next up towards the top and captions towards the bottom. To take a look at the work I've done, I can pull down under file to preview the page in browser. Here in the browser, I can see my desktop layout. I have that three across grid that I defined. If I click on any one of the thumbnails, it'll bring up that light box mode. I can navigate between individual images. Notice that the images don't have to all be the same exact height and width. I can adjust the light box dynamically based on that page content. If I close out the light box and scroll up to the top here a bit, and press and drag. Notice that the tiles are scaling both height and width while preserving the percentage-based space between those tiles. If I drag a little bit further, I'll jump to my next breakpoint. There's my tablet layout. I can now click on the longer, thinner thumbnails that I defined for the tablet and check out my lightbox layout here, which is slightly different than what I defined for desktop. Pressing and dragging just a bit more will bring me down to my phone layout. I can scroll down on those thumbnails that are long and thin. Clicking on any one of them will bring up the light box for the phone. And as usual, no matter the height or width of that phone, the content is going to dynamically resize to adjust to the device. I encourage you to experiment with these new features in the slideshow responsive widget of Adobe Muse.